The first few days, you would think nothing but food. But after a while, you know, you get used to it. And if your faith is strong, you can just go without. Okay? If your mind is also strong. Because we are the temple of God, there's nothing we cannot do truly. Just we have to reprogram our thinking and re educate our body uh, function. Yeah? All the cells in the body has to understand what we want now because the cells are used to it, you know, taking food and solid and from outside already. So it takes some time to re educate it. It takes reinforcement every day, every day. Every time you forget it, you remind yourself. You don't have to talk loud, you can also. But what do you think the cells will take note? And sometimes they immediately obey. Yes. But don't try too far. You have to have a good motivation why you don't want to eat. Not just for show and let everybody think you're holy. If you can uh, stay away for food for a while, you feel very strong. You feel like you, you have no fear of hunger. That's what it is. That you could go through any situation with no problem. <laughs> that might make you feel like that. And it's okay to reinforce your courage now and again, but don't go too far, that's what I say. As soon as you feel weak and, you know, bad or dizzy or, you know, sick or any symptom, you have to stop. Okay? Don't push it. <laughs> you can drink, of course. I have discovered that uh, many of the so-called breatharian, they don't completely go without food or drink. I thought, that's it, no more food, no more drink. It's not like that. They call themselves breatharian, or maybe they eat uh, prana or something, but they drink something. Occasionally uh, fruit juice or cocktail, or even coffee, or sometimes they eat also soup. Yeah, they call it soup and prana, <laughs> or coffee and prana. <laughs> like some people, they call themselves vegetarian, but they eat egg and fish and shrimp, and they call themselves uh, vegetarian. What they mean is a part-time vegetarian. That's why other people have to invent the word called vegan. See? Just to distinguish themselves from people who eat egg and dairy products, a lot of fish and shrimp and chicken even sometimes. I met, you know, one person who, who is breatharian, huh? And she drinks coffee and uh, that, that sometimes and fruit juice and all that. And uh, she said to me, I should go, uh, you know, prana, eating, you know, air. So I said, but I love food so much, what to do? She said, okay, so what is your favorite food? I said, Chinese. I'm <laughs> half Chinese and Vietnamese. She said, okay, then you can have Chinese food and prana. I said, oh, what's the difference? I'm doing it right now, all my life already. <laughs> so cute and so tolerant. <laughs> and I discovered that uh, many of them are like that. Hmm? And some people just eat coconut, as he told me, and with prana, or just soup with prana. And the French people, they can say, oh, I'm a prana person with French baguette <laughs> and uh, pâté <laughs> and whatnot. Huh? <laughs> so it's, it's really it's not all that serious. So only a few people are truly pranic people, you know, like they don't eat anything at all. They don't even drink. They live on solar system, or on air, or on the the chi, from the ground, or from the forest, and from the sun, and from the air. They make use of all that. Or they live on love, on faith alone. And some people, like Teresa Neumann, yes, she lives on the love of Jesus. And there was another woman, I read in a book, somewhere in Russia or something. She also really a pranic person. She lives on love alone. And no cheating, no coffee, no drink, no eating anything, no soup, no liquid, no uh, juice cocktail, you know, fruit juice mix and that. And uh, some people in the Himalaya, they really live on air alone. 
Yes, and some people uh, live breatharian, but they drink liquid, yeah, or water, or some kind of herbal tea, yeah. Sometimes because their body needs some time because they're too bored to eat, <laughs> eat nothing every day. <laughs> Without food, you can't meditate. With too much food, you also cannot <laughs> meditate. <laughs> That's a problem. But you're doing good. Can I ask you? I did try um, to go without food for two weeks, actually. Yeah. But not like totally, um, no, without food, just one, just with some... But then, um, I feel, like you said, really light. But when I say without food, I mean really without food. No fruit, nothing. Because I didn't want to go too fast. You do what you want. Yeah, you do what you feel good, okay? So I just think we be natural and it's fine, yeah? Just be natural, do whatever you like, okay? If you can do without food, do without food. If you cannot, then do with food. If you can eat less, eat less. Okay? Yes. If you can eat more, uh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us for today's Between Master and Disciples on Supreme Master Television. Coming up is Healthy Living, right after Noteworthy News. May the providence shine ever brightly on your path of goodness and nobility.